Hey guys, Russ with RWG Research. Hope you like my hair. Look at my cutting it off. All right, so this is uh, an update on the EPG gas with the argon. Now, before I actually had argon CO2 mix, which is theoretically the wrong stuff. Uh, we need pure argon. So luckily, my uncle had a bottle, and I was able to borrow it. So in the um, chamber here I have pure argon this time instead of what I had prior argon not CO2 mix so uh, I'm gonna fire it up I have no idea how this is gonna react but hopefully it'll react pretty cool so three uh, let's see get a little bit there we go three two one all right so it's just it actually made it weaker and the pressure doesn't rise either where beforehand the pressure went way up now it's just staying steady so that's interesting so the argon CO2 mix actually is totally different all right, well, let's go ahead and hook the argon back up and let it run through this chamber and see what happens. One, two. So, uh, one second while I take this off. All right, got that off. Now, well, I'm going to go ahead and shut this valve off and turn this arc on again and see what we get. Alright, so I'm going to turn this on, it's pretty high, I'm going to back it off a little bit, see what our flow is first, I don't want to waste too much of this, alright, arc on, oh that's neat, <laughs> look at that, It's much better from my view. All right, so I got that off now. So we're moving argon. I think I might even turn it down slower if I can get it. If I can just get this barely to come through, that's what I'd rather have. There we go. Oh, it's moving through there, you can see it. Now what I'd like to know is can I extract electrons? pretty cool looking alright so I'm going to see if I can extract electrons we'll go get a coil wrap it around this thing see if I can light a light bulb alright I'll be back alright guys so I've wrapped this with coil uh, I don't know what size it is I don't know how long it is but uh, you can see it's quite a bit of wire uh, it came out of the back of a TV. Imagine that. Actually, this one came out of a computer monitor. It is aluminum wire. I don't really know if that matters. <clears throat> but I did learn something. If I pressurize this, the more pressure I got in here, the brighter my arc, as you can tell. So that that's a lot brighter than it was at low pressure. And last time with the CO2 mix, the higher the pressure, it wouldn't arc at all. Now I can get this thing all the way up, you know, as high as I want to get it. They were at 50 PSI, and it climbs as well. Look at the higher pressure. Look at that thing go up. Okay, so it, it does. Now, here's what's interesting. I've got this coil connected to itself, so the coil's shorted, and then the coil goes out to this light bulb, 12 volt, out to ground. All right. Now, the light bulb does not glow. Okay, but I am getting a voltage. So if I disconnect the bulb from the circuit, check out what my voltage reads. About 25 volt AC. So that tells me I am producing electricity across this coil, and it is going out and shorting the ground, because whenever I short the meter out across the bulb, it's like a dead short, no voltage at all. 
I'll take that back. 0 0.004 of a volt. So theoretically, it's doing its job. It's extracting electrons. That is a lot brighter than it was, though. So basically, it seems like with the high voltage arc, the the more argon, the higher the pressure, the more the uh, the higher, the brighter the the arc, and the uh, the more arcs are going on in there. So uh, now it's time to get this thing the rest of the way hooked up, and uh, we'll be back.